So let's jump right in on Once Upon a Time. So basically, it merges, you know, fairy tale and magic and it just crashes into real life. Do you find it kind of difficult to be playing two characters, Dr. Well and Dr. Frankenstein? No, I mean, the whole reason I took the show was, was to play Dr. Frankenstein, so it took about a year to get into it and, um, you know, I was like, what am I going to be able to put on the guy liner? When am I going to put the steampunk stuff on and get in the black and white world? The black and white world was a complete surprise. I didn't know we were going to do it in that, but... Um, uh, I, I don't find it that difficult, you know. I do do like an English accent with the, with the Frankenstein character, which I don't think the creators really like. That is so dope. They said, uh, they said they didn't want me to do that. Really? But that would have been I a nice did it little. Anyway. You're like, yo, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Show them, right? Because the words didn't sound right in like a colloquial like American accent. Like mm -hmm. if I was talking like this, like. Like it's Dr. Frankenstein, that doesn't work. Does like, it? you're from New York. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here with that. <laughs> exactly. So you knew beforehand that you were actually going to be playing Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, it's, it's the whole reason. So there was no the secret, because I know sometimes they kind of give you like, it's just doctor. You know, no, we're yeah. for it. That was, the, that was the reason I took it. And the wink was, you know, people were like, Dr. Whale. Uh, Dr. Whale is, oh, he's the whale that swallowed Pinocchio. No. Mm. James Whale directed Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. And so that's the the whole wink. Let's just say that Once Upon a Time was a movie. Yeah. And you know, they show the beginning, middle, and end. What would you like to see happen by the end of the film? I'd like to see Dr. Whale, Dr. Frankenstein, be the star. That's what I'd like to see. That's it. It'd just be Dr. Well. Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time, there was a guy named Dr. Well. Once Upon a Time, Dr. Well, exactly. So, Upcoming season, there's so much talk about, you know, Tinkerbell and Aladdin. There? Yeah, there is. I love how he's yeah. like, really? I, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I mean, they, there's so many, there's so many characters in, in the Disney uh, canon mm -hmm. to, to draw upon and to enter into this world. And, and, and it's a Disney show, so they're like, sure, throw Aladdin into there. Put Jafar into there. Put Simba. The you Lion what, King. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't be surprised. If you know what? Before <laughs> before we started doing our interview, I was talking to one of our assistants, and I was saying, "Yo, I think it would be really dope if they added a Simba, but right? made him like a shapeshifter. Yeah, like he's like a boy, and then he turns into Simba and he destroys and like, people." Right. Yeah, they don't, I'd, they don't I'd watch turn it. into like a freaking parody. I'd watch that. All right, you guys, that does it for me and David Anders. Once upon a time, we'll be back on ABC this fall. And don't forget to stick with us right here on Celebify for your latest dose of entertainment news. I'm Ruba, signing off.